rapid erosion at the end of the existing defences was not only destroying the chalets and holiday park along the coast, it also meant the sea was within 15 metres of a road. Based on cost-benefit analysis, a decision was taken that it would be better to defend the coast rather than move the road and the utilities, and risk losing more houses and chalets. But whilst it might just look like a pile of rocks, building revetments involves sophisticated engineering, which is why defending this 400 metre stretch of coast cost £7 million. All the highly resistant granite boulders had to be shipped from Norway on giant barges. These were floated up to the coast at high tide so they could offload the cargo of rocks. When the tide receded, a fleet of diggers manoeuvred the different sized rocks, placing them strategically to maximise the spread or dissipation of energy from incoming waves. The road and utilities should now be safe for several generations, but perhaps the biggest impact of the new defences is the peace of mind it's given to businesses and homeowners at this end of town. As the owners of the caravan site behind the revetment, Matthew Finch and his family have lost hundreds of chalets and caravan bases over the years. But having the defences has given them confidence to invest in the future. It's massive, yeah, it's massive, because we know we're not going to lose any of our land. I mean, I still walk, I'm still walking along in the morning, just checking, because you can't, you can't believe that, you know, no more's going to... Well, there's not going to be a crack somewhere where you think, oh, that's going to be the next bit to fall or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we've lost all that over the years, but at least now it's stopped and we're not going to lose any more. At least you can plan instead of just knowing that your business might be worth nothing. <laughs>